Um, and Wayne, uh, late yesterday, you and Emory University uh, announced a collaboration for a particular oral drug, uh, antiviral, that you hope to get into human testing that you think could be very effective against COVID-19. Tell us why you believe that would be the case. That's right, David. Thank you so much for having me on. I very much appreciate it. And the whole Ridgeback Biotherapeutics team very much appreciates this opportunity to talk about what we're doing. I know we want to talk about the virus, Ridgeback, Thrive, the collaboration, and 2801, the drug you just mentioned. And I'll, I'll just start by saying, you know, we're in somewhat of a financial crisis, um, but this crisis is not rooted in finance. It's rooted in biology, and the solution relies on biology. We need to beat the virus. I am absolutely confident we, as an industry, as a nation, uh, as a globe, can beat the virus biologically. I know we can beat it with medicines and hopefully with vaccines. Medicines can be faster, as you pointed out. We need to spend aggressively. We need all roadblocks removed. We need to proceed safely, but very quickly. Uh, the biologic solution is much cheaper than the financial mitigation solution. I applaud the Treasury, the President, Congress, the Fed. Their actions are going to be extraordinarily helpful. They're essential and necessary. But for, I, I believe for single-digit billions, biology can solve this problem, um, and we need to move very quickly. Uh, All right, so tell me about this. Yeah, tell me specifically so, about what you're describing as a broad-spectrum antiviral that you have under development that you hope to get into human trials. Is it any different than what conceivably we're hearing from Regeneron or Gilead? And how quickly can you move here if this thing actually shows that it's efficacious and tolerable amongst humans? Sure. So I'll tell you what we know, what we don't yet know, and, and the vision that we have. So what we know, the, the 2801 kills the novel coronavirus in cell culture without killing the human cells it's cultured in. It prevents disease when given as a prophylaxis to animals. If you administer doses of MERS and SARS, which are two other highly pathogenic, deadly coronaviruses, and it reduces the severity of disease and the viral levels in the lung when 2801 is given as a treatment of MERS and SARS in animals. We have a favorable safety profile in monkeys, so we've tested it, and at the highest doses tested in monkeys, it had a favorable safety profile. The dose that we, the highest dose we use is 10 times what we expect the efficacious human dose to be. It's oral. It's easy to make. We can make it at large scale. We have 30,000 plus dosing regimens on hand already manufactured today. We, we're uh, dry was underway and a plan to make 60,000 more, but we would like to make 60 million doses. Um, we can do it. Um, we, we've been in discussions in the drive team, uh, which is a great team led by George Painter, 25 years of experience in antiviral drug development. He's been in contact, the whole drive team, the Ridgeback team now with FDA. Um, we want to file an IND um, as early as next week. Um, we're hoping to get that IND cleared start a single ascending dose study. We treat patients to look and make sure that we get the right levels of drug into the blood and that the safety we saw in, in monkeys is replicated in humans. And at that point, we'd be ready to start patients. So we can do this very quickly. Uh, we can uh, advance this very quickly. Uh, what we don't know, uh, we don't know if we'll get the same blood levels in humans that we saw in animals. We expect that we will. Uh, we don't know if we'll see the same safety profile in animals that we saw in monkeys. We hope that we will. We expect that we will. But these are, of course, things we don't know. We don't know if it'll have the same efficacy against the novel coronavirus that we had against MERS and SARS in animals. I'll tell you why I'm optimistic that we would. Um, in MERS and SARS, the level of the virus peaks within one to two days of administering the virus to the animals. With the COVID, uh, the, the novel coronavirus that causes the disease we now call COVID-19, that peak occurs seven to 10 days after you've been exposed to the virus. We have a nice window to treat early. So our vision for any product, but we think 2801 is perhaps the best product that's ready to be tested in humans, uh, that has the highest probability of achieving this sort of profile. Could be a pill that you take twice a day for three to five days 
as soon as you get symptoms. You knock down the virus early. You avoid hospital, pneumonia, ventilator, ICU. And of course, we want to prevent people from, uh, you know, we want to increase survival. Uh, all antivirals work better if you use them early. Um, so that, that's the vision. Can, can the world right. develop a product you can give orally, early, that's safe, knocks the virus down, keeps people out of the hospital?